look up like y'all look <laughs> like look how fire this blends out <laughs> have been seeing a lot of my vlog my blog videos or my style videos but i want to bring you a nice beauty video and it's one that everyone has been asking for through instagram sis what is your foundation routine and as you see i am very much bare faced today so we are going to be going through my foundation routine and the products that i use but before we even start let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom you know i am trying to reach 50 like it's a low number of course but it's a high number for me 50 i'm trying to hit that 50 mark of subscribers and i would love that if you've seen this video or if you're watching other ones you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom not only that make sure you like and comment this video i would love to hear what foundations you use what have you what have you learned from other youtubers um and also like any tea that you want to spill that i can pick up in my routine and not only that i just appreciate the likes and hearing from you guys so make sure you like and comment below also shameless plug let's go ahead and follow me on instagram i'm gonna link it right here hit that hit that oh sis you're not subscribing on instagram hit that follow button on instagram and make sure you send me a comment send me a dm let me know that you have watched me on youtube and you follow me on instagram and i would love to chat it up with you and yeah meet you guys so make sure you follow me on instagram right here all right guys so you have been asking like i said before what is your foundation routine because i have within the last year mastered what foundations work for me and it was kind of by accident and it was kind of by like just asking new products and then just creating my own formula of what works with my skin and i am so excited to be sharing you with you the products that i use so with that first before i even get into my foundation routine there are two things that i do every single time i'm about to do anything with skincare to my face the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the mario badescu lip balm if I'm doing any makeup at all, I go ahead and apply my lip balm first before I do my foundation so that my lips are nice and chapped before I put any type of lip gloss or anything on. I do not like chapped lips, <laughs> especially when putting on lipstick. So the first thing you're going to see me do is put the Mario Badescu uh, lip balm on my lips. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, which is the most important step I cannot stress to you, sis, the number one thing that will cause breakouts is if you do not wash your hands. Anytime that I'm doing anything skincare related, whether it's makeup or just generally cleansing my skin, I am washing my hands. I wash my hands thoroughly when I'm about to touch my face. I even make sure throughout the day that I'm not touching my face because your hands are so dirty. I mean, Corona going around, you should already be washing your hands. But I cannot stress to you enough that if your skin is breaking out, that you need to be washing your hands before you touch your skin with any type of makeup, before you touch your skin with any type of cleanser or skincare routine, you need to be washing your hands. So what I'm about to do now is go ahead and wash my hands. I already, I do this first, cause again, I don't know what's on this. So I go ahead and do this first and then I wash my hands um, before I even start to touch my face. Now, as you see, my eyebrows are already done but um i washed my hands before i did my eyebrows and now i'm about to wash my hands again before i put the foundation on so if you're doing this when i'm doing my makeup go ahead and leave like i'm about to do and wash your hands but sis wash your hands your skin will thank you the breakouts will thank you wash your hands so i'm about to go do that now is to apply my milk um hydro grip primer to my skin <laughs> and i love this primer i found it on youtube i saw um brianna from youtube she uses it and i tried it and honestly it's the most long lasting primer that i have ever used and i typically didn't use primers before this but i just wanted something that would 
you know, see if I could see a difference with primer throughout the day with using one. Um, and this one is amazing. Yeah, I'm just going to press that in my skin. It's sticky, so um, it doesn't take much effort to kind of smooth it in. So I'm just blotting this in my skin again with clean hands. This is why you wash your hands because, you know, with these steps that you're doing, you use your hands a lot and you need to make sure that you're using um, clean hands when doing this. So I went ahead and applied my base, my primer. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, a little tip that I learned from Jackie Aina who has um, oily skin like I have. And one of the things that she does is um, she uses the translucent powder before applying her foundation. And I watched the makeup experts on um, a makeup expert that I love. And he actually recommended that as a good tip to do because you need um, you need a power to lay down the oily base. And sometimes um, it can seep through the foundation. So applying that translucent powder before the foundation, it kind of locks it in so it doesn't even sleek through the foundation. And then you have that extra barrier when you apply the uh, translucent powder after the concealer. So you have both of those two barriers to keep your skin on lock from the oil throughout the day. So I found that this definitely helps. Um, with my oily skin i don't have i have like a a mixed combination skin so i have my oily t-zones you'll see like from here you can see it's very shiny so these are like my oily spots so i'm not going to apply this all over my face i'm just going to apply it kind of like on my and for me and yeah i just applied it <laughs> in my eyebrows but it's okay so i'm just gonna apply it in my oily spots and my nose my nose it gets like super oily and as you see like it's already canceled it out so so the part of your skin that gets the most oil is surprising you your eyelids so um, one of the things that I like to do too, um, and because it's so sensitive, I like to apply the translucent powder there too, just to like block out that oil, uh, the oiliness. And especially if you're using eyeshadows, which I'm not gonna do today, but if you're mixing eyeshadows, I recommend you going ahead and using like a primer too. Um, but for me, I don't use a lot of eyeshadows, so I just go ahead and use the translucent powder as kind of like that base to keep down that oil. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little spot correcting. As you see, my skin um, is very clear. I just have dark spots, and that's just from the hormonal breakouts that I get. So one of the things that I use to spot correct is I use a concealer that is the shade or a little bit lighter than the foundation I use. One of the things that you should not use is a concealer, like your regular concealer that brightens your under eye. Do not use that brightening concealer um, because then it's just going to make a brighter spot underneath the foundation, which is not necessarily, you're just highlighting, you know, the dark spot that you have. What's better is if you use a concealer that is the natural color of your skin and then apply the foundation on top and then it just completely cancels out those dark spots so that's another tip that i use so i'm going to go ahead and get um the concealer that i have i'm going to do i want to use this one i'm going to use this um la girls concealer that i have i usually don't use this too much um but i'm going to use it right now just to Spot correct and as you see like it's literally already canceling it out and even getting rid of I'm going to apply it right here too just to get rid of some redness that I have and then we're just going to go ahead and blend this out 
All right guys, just to run that back. So the first thing I did was use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer um, to go ahead and prime my skin. And then I used the translucent powder to kind of set it to make sure I'm using double defense with um, making sure the oil doesn't go through my makeup. And then I used the spot corrector as the concealer and to get rid of these dark spots. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move into my foundation. I was looking for a new foundation. I, for the life of me, was using NARS that had been my number one go-to product but I just wanted something different I wanted to try something different like I have been using NARS for so long and it's good but I wanted to see what was good that was out there Fenty I heard mixed reviews about so that wasn't like my go-to um number one uh foundation that i wanted to try and i love giorgio armani too but i honestly just wanted to try a brand that i didn't know so um the first thing i picked up was the Too faced born this way which of course everyone has heard rave reviews about these um about this product and um it's oil free it's medium to full coverage so i use this and Honestly, it just didn't give me the coverage that I wanted. I still felt like my skin was oily. I felt like I felt like I wasn't beat, okay? I just <laughs> if if I felt like I was not beat. So, I use this kind of just like as an everyday foundation, just, you know, if I wanted to do minimal. For me, it was just very minimal. Um so I use it as a minimal foundation. Um, and then I ended up going to Sephora again, and then she recommended using Hourglass, the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, um, the stick. And I never used a stick before, but I was open to using it. Um, I was open to using it because I wanted just, you know, again, to try something new and see how it would work on my skin. I used the stick and I, like, it was just too firm for me. It didn't have enough oil or water in the foundation for me to be able to blend it out the way that I like so I ended up saying hmm let me just take this born this way foundation and blot it on my hand and blot it and kind of like use both of it together and let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you let me tell you how much of a difference it was and I was like oh my god this right here like this is heat so yes that is my foundation that i use i use the hourglass vanish with the Too faced born this way i have heard i think i think i actually saw jacqueline hill mention that she uses both of them together too and when i saw that i was like oh my god sis like like that's how I knew I was confirmed that sis you just found a pot of gold. So yeah, that's what I use. And I to the, I would probably use this routine, these two together for the rest of my life. Like, I don't know if I would ever go with any other foundation routine than this because this has just been like my pot of gold to get my foundation and my skin looks so flawless. And as you see, when I put it on, you'll see like, it is such a difference when you mix those two together and when you blend it out and it's just so perfect and both of it matches my skin color and it, it just it just looks like my skin is so radiant and healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my skin so you can just go ahead and see what it looks like. I use the hourglass and the natural amber and then the born this way in the caramel. So I usually just go ahead and again it's the stick. So I just go ahead and do little marks around my face and I you know I just recognize I'm a full coverage girl I like full coverage I like like I like full coverage but a natural full coverage and that's what I like about this it gives me that full coverage but it looks so natural and it looks like my skin and it looks and it you know blends so flawlessly and I think that's the number one aim that you should look for when getting any foundations is that it just it covers but it blends so flawlessly that it looks like your skin and I'm just dampening my um my uh I'm actually not going to use this I'm going to use my little stippling brush um from I think this is makeup geek and I'm going to dampen it with the Mario Badescu the facial spray so I put the Too Faced on my hand and again I'm just going to stipple in and blend this out and like look Look up, like, y'all look, <laughs> like, look how fire this blends out. Look at this. 
oh my god and it, it, it's such a difference like when i tell you it's such a diff like look at this look at the <laughs> like i cannot tell you and i don't know if it's just like the using the stick foundation with the more watery base that it just mixes and blends way better together or even just the product the formulas um the formulas that are together i don't i don't know what it is about it but it's just so fire and it's just so radiant with my skin so i'm just gonna blend this out and you will see the final look in a second all right, so I like blend this out, but I'm also gonna take my beauty blender afterwards just to make sure everything is completely blended and go ahead and blend, stipple it in and blend this again. But as you see, like, y'all, do you see how fire this is? Like how, how natural you don't see any of the dark spots. Like I said, like you'll see some of it, but you don't really see any of the dark spots. It looks, so natural all right guys so as you see like my foundation looks so flawless like i don't know if i can do a close-up of my skin it looks so it first of all it looks so natural it looks like my face my face looks so much better i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take my jacqueline heel and this is just like a um it's the luminous powder that she came out with i've said it before but it is amazing for setting your skin and it just adds like a very natural glow to your skin so i'm gonna go ahead and take that and kind of like dust that all over my face and it kind of like sets my foundation too but it gives my skin this natural glow under everything that i'm about to do and even like if i'm just wearing sometimes i like just just wear foundation if i don't have time to do my home uh do my makeup if i'm like running somewhere um about to like do some work for the day and i just want to look a little okay i'll just go ahead and set it with this and it just adds like a natural radiant glow already you know to my face like if you see just a natural radiant glow to my face all right guys so as you see i put on the foundation the hourglass and the Too face and it just looks so flawless like i cannot tell you how amazing it has been just to find this pair together and to put it together and it makes my routine so much easier what i'm gonna do is um just put some put some concealer on real quick put some mascara on and um i'm going to just go ahead and wrap up this look so you can kind of see how it looks finished and then i will be right back the rest of my face this is very like a everyday makeup look for me where i'm not just doing too much i don't need to do lashes or i don't need to do any liner um just doing some simple concealer some uh 
bronzer and highlighter just to add like a natural glow to my face and some lip gloss with my um, lip liner and as you see just the foundation is like so set it's so silky smooth it looks the number one thing is it blends with my overall skin tone and it just looks so radiant um i think just with the jacqueline hill luminous powder that i added along with the highlighter my skin it has just like an unnatural amazing glow and this is exactly how i look my uh, like my makeup to work um and this is exactly how i like my makeup to look every single day so if you have been using more this way or if you've been using the hourglass foundation i would honestly tell you to try to use both together just see how it is see how your skin looks it's not too much and honestly i have to say both of them are very light so when you put them together it's not heavy or overbearing it's very natural and it's very clean and i just like i can't tell you how obsessed i am with this makeup look and even just how my skin has just looked throughout the year it's been a year of using both of these products together and i'll tell you like this is just like i'm done i'm not even going to research other brands to use i'm just going to stick with my old faithfuls unless you know pr packages want to arrive on my doorstep and you want to challenge me to see if you have a better product i mean slide in my inbox but other than that this foundation routine is just amazing i would try it um it's great for oily skin which i have combination skin even dry skin i have some dry areas on my face and it just honestly still looks amazing i wouldn't do an extensive as the um translucent powder with setting i would kind of switch it up a little bit but this is just so it's work for my skin so um i would uh See what works for your skin too but again try this duo together it is undefeated at this moment in my life Coley switching nowhere else and you should try it too but other than that thank you so much for looking um but but yes you guys thank you so much for watching this video i enjoy sharing my secret and tips with you if this video again was helpful make sure you subscribe down at the bottom you like and comment this video let me know what products you're using i would love to hear the foundations that you're using or even if you're using this please let me know what's life-changing for you and also follow me on instagram at nicole jack again thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye